This morning we are joined by Sarah Burns, who is here to share more information about the fun event spring shopping market that will be held at the main. It's an opportunity to shop for homemade work as well as helping a local nonprofit. So Sarah, tell us more about this event. Um, we have about 21 local vendors, artisan and makers there, and it's located at the main. It's if you haven't been to the venue of the main, it's a really, really cool venue. Yeah. They have a stage space and we have Jason Ray photography up on the stage showcasing his work. And then obviously also you can purchase. Um, it is a fantastic venue. So who is the local uh, nonprofit that you're partnering up with? We work with Hunger Task Force. Okay. Uh, so we'll be collecting non-perishable items and monetary donations at the door. For every person who has gives a donation, they get this fun little stamp card, and yeah. it's a scavenger hunt. Oh, cool. So they have to get a stamp from every single booth. And then if they get a stamp from every single booth, they get entered into uh, win a grand prize. And how long has this partnership with the Hunger Task Force been going on for? Uh, we started working with them at our last event in February, okay. and we plan on continuing moving forward with it. So oh, awesome. Now, tell us, you know, how are we able to attend this event? Is it available for purchase? And so where? It is free okay. to attend. Okay. It's at the main, which is 422 Main Street, downtown yeah. La Crosse. Um, parking can be a little bit of a hassle, but there's the parking ramp on J Street that you can use, and we're just a short walk through the alleyway. Um, and the main has their bar open, it's a cash bar, so you can grab a drink oh, and nice. then wander around and <laughs> shop. Um, it's, a, it's a really, really great venue. Now, you have some really good looking yes. sweets here that we have <laughs> right in front of us, and I gotta tell you, my mouth is watering right now. I can't wait to actually try one of these. So, yes. are, are these some of the type of like uh, desserts and food in general that we can expect? Yes, so I brought my gourmet cookies this morning and this is actually the six flavors that I'll have made for Sunday. I did a small test batch for you guys. Oh, awesome. Um, so these are the six gourmet cookies that I'll have. I also specialize in scones and these cake jars. So from me, that's what I'll have available. Okay. Um, and then we also have people who are going to be selling granola there and honey nice. and then the other like handmade stuff like yeah. this. Um, okay. He does like wood turning and we have functional ceramics and lots of really cool stuff. And how long does it usually take to, you know, put all this together? Um, so I started organizing this one in probably January. Yeah. And then we have applications open for about a month and a half. And then me and a couple other people go through the applications to make sure we have a really diverse set of people so that you're not gonna see um, a candle maker and then another candle maker and then another candle maker. We have a really diverse selection. Um, yeah, it takes a few months to put together. I, I could imagine, it's such a huge process. And then of course making all the food and things like yeah. that too. Um, so I know you said that you're actual, you're in a baker yourself, yep. right? And you own your own uh, bakery in yes. your own home. So can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I own Omega Bakery. I'm actually a completely gluten-free bakery. I'm okay. a dedicated gluten-free bakery and I specialize in allergy baking. So I do dairy-free, egg-free, vegan, soy-free. If it's free of something, I can do it. Um, and right now I'm at my max capacity for my kitchen, so we're yeah. hoping to expand into a storefront space. Do you know when that could happen? <laughs> we're hoping for this summer. Because <laughs> I was going to say, this looks phenomenal. Yeah, so. <laughs> we are really hoping for this okay. summer. Um, but I do the farmers markets and other right. events. So I do Cameron Park farmers market on Friday nights. I do the festival farmers markets throughout the summers. So okay. Um, so I guess last question is where can people find more information about this event? So more information. I primarily work on Facebook okay. because I'm that's that's the that's what I'm most familiar with. Right. Um, Makers Market of the Cooley Region is what the Facebook page is called, and we have an event for the spring event. That would be the best place to find more information. And we have spotlights on all of the different people who will be there. So if awesome. you go to that event page, you're going to get to see what's going to be available. And besides this one coming up, are there any big ones coming up in the near future at all, too? Uh, so we host three a year. Okay. We do one right before Thanksgiving, one usually the Super Bowl Sunday, and then okay. one sometime in spring. Awesome. Very nice. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for being with us this thank morning. You. It was an absolute pleasure. I cannot wait to dig in on these Yeah, cookies. these are for you guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, that's it from us, and back to you.